I are here at the Engineering Technology Group and we're going to be talking about the success that they've had with their Vulcan range of machines. I mean, I've been out, I've seen this machine installed in a company and they are over the moon with it. Yeah, they are, correct. And I mean, talking to the guys here, they've sold over a dozen of these machines now, not all yet installed. But when you consider that we, we were involved in the launch back in, I think it was May or June this year, mm -hmm. when you consider the year that it's been since then, yeah. to have, have sold and installed machines of, of, in this area, which is a very, very competitive market, you know, the mm -hmm. VMCs, the turning centres. So to have done that uh, and then to get the glowing references that, you've seen already has yeah. been quite you know it's, it's, it's been really good to hear well the company that I went to have to, and they replaced an older machine with this but they were over the moon they just said it's doing exactly what we need it to do we're not pushing it to the limit yet and they they call it a workhorse and it's going to stay that it's kind of like the pivotal part of their company as mm. well and I think what you can see here is a vertical machine in center this is a 610 now the machines go bigger than this on the on the VMC's also the turn in center range all the way from kind of a six inch chuck up to you know 15 inch chuck machines yep. so so these are quite big big turning centers too as well as double column machines it's yes. a, there's a there's a very big range i'm going to quiz you then paul okay. sorry That's but right. why do you think that people have um found these so successful and why do you think they've been so successful i think i think that um the etg factor comes into it the guys here will say that they they are you know when they work with their customers they do exactly that so um you know people that have nakamuras that have chirons that have quasar machines you know sometimes there is a, a need for a, a more entry level specification and that's what the vulcan machine is now when you buy any machine even if it is a, a three axis machine what you need to know is that the company is going to be there to support you yeah. and etg will say that a lot of their companies that have invested in them have not only invested in the kit have invested in the machine I wanted to just also draw the audience's attention to a live that we did here um, with Dominic from Open Mind and Steve Brown where we actually put the Vulcan uh, I think it was the TC200 through its paces in doing a trachoidal turning essentially yeah. and Dominic from Open Mind's comments were that he can normally assess the performance of a, ma a machine an entry-level machine by the load that that it's uh, when you're doing trachoidal turning the load that the spindle and the and the tooling is producing and if it goes into the red it shows that the machine's maybe not quite as stable Struggling a bit or, as yeah. a machine that stays in the green these stayed in the green throughout the entire process so that's coming from an unbiased neutral third party opinion mm that these machines are pretty good. And when I spoke to the tooling representative here, they were over the moon. We were doing some tests that really pushed it to its mm. limits as well. And it was just easy. It was easy for the machine. And I think with the news that there's a, a vaccine, hopefully on the horizon, Brexit's going to be coming to a conclusion at the end of the year. Um, you know, hopefully pretty good times are ahead. We've just heard that the GDP uh, for the, I think it's the third quarter of this year yeah. was actually up over 15 percent uh, yeah. growth so you know the economy hopefully is starting to recover having sold over a dozen in in the last six months 2021 uh, for ETG and the Vulcan range could really cement their position. Just to add to that as well, you know, I've been out and about and, you know, you do speak to a lot of engineers and people are like, how is it, how is it? And I'll be hands on heart, I will honestly say, people are saying, we're busy. You know, there has been some people saying there's a little bit of a dip, but they said we've not stopped, mm. we haven't stopped. And it is so good that manufacturing has not stopped and it does continue. It, excited about 2021. And if you are interested in a machine like this, turning, milling, then talk to the engineering technology group. They've got machines here in stock. You can even come here and actually, um, you know, do what we're talking about or, or see what we're talking about. The machine's actually cutting metal.